We're looking at the badge on the grill of a Caliber CSB1. That stands for Caliber Speaker Box 1. Now this product, well the very first ones I think probably ever became aware of this sort of thing would have been when I were a little boy. Um, because this is the sort of speaker box designed to go on a, a rear parcel shelf. Little box, wire coming out, speaker in, no big deal. Except I've taken the screws out of this one to show you that what Calibre have done is really, in typical uh, Calibre fashion, kind of a bit naughty really, because they've, um, well, that's quite a big tweeter in there. That's a proper polyamide dome tweeter. Under the edge there is, uh, sorry, I'm under the edge here is clearly a capacitor. That provides a six decibels per octave attenuation of the uh, base going into there such that you can't hurt the tweeter with deep bass. It's on a pole. I'm going to grab this quite firmly back because I've unscrewed it. It uh, looks like an honest paper pulp cone and a foam surround. And then you turn it round and frankly there's a magnet on the back of this which is... I'm going to see that a bit heavy. Um, <laughs> That's a bit cheeky. The size of the magnet is actually almost the size of the speaker. Look at the flipping... Yes, 40 watts RMS. That's actually quite serious. That means that if you put 40 proper watts in this, it's going to spank. Now, the only thing is, is that the enclosure it's in, as you can see, is barely any bigger than the actual back of the speaker, which means that despite the fact that this will actually go bump, bump, bump in a small space, my sneaky suggestion for the clever installer is to actually uh, maybe cut the base out and use this as an ornament on the top of a slightly bigger parsley box hidden underneath your parcel shelf. Either way, um, I tried them on just a few watts with the CA75.2, uh, which is a little 25 watt by 2 amp. And, uh, and they're pretty good. The base that comes out of them is limited because of the cubic that they've got to work with. Um, I think you'd get more if you sealed them down well and if you uh, did put proper power into them, like you know, a good 30 solid watts which uh, they'll handle with ease. So, um, ridiculously inexpensive, cheeky little product, and uh, absurd value. And if you were to get these, and one of those little uh, Bluetooth amplifiers, well, you've got you know, disposably cheap speakers to throw into a classic without doing it any harm. Um, you could sew them down. Anyway, the whole point is that uh, tremendous value for money. And despite the fact that they, um, well, we're looking at a 10 for value for money and a 10 for efficiency, because they really did go good and loud on just a few watts. Um, probably an 8 for power because that's quite a lot of power for a thing like that um, an easy 8 for build quality because Calibre make solid things and that is you know, that is not a mean magnet that's a, as in parsimony so it's huge for the size of speaker and uh, well sound quality I would probably be limited to a 7 as a product which gives an overall of 8.6 but definitely recommended with the uh, with the talk stuff's audio genre as it says in the review so there you have it CSB1 and uh, how much are they at 2017 prices? Looking at my machine behind me. Yeah, that's a 45 quid pair of speakers. You're getting an awful lot of magnet in there for your money. Make no mistake, that is not. Um, I'll put it this way there's a certain major chain store selling speakers from you know, very low prices, but I'm, I'd put the fact that I'm not, not thin on that this will outperform for the price anything available at that big chain store. And that's a fact.